A DC public school bus driver and an attendant have been fired after leaving a four year old boy strapped to his bus seat all day long. Now, the child is okay, but tonight a lot of people are asking how this could happen. Stephen Cheetah is live with what school officials are now saying. So Stephen, what are they saying? Audrey, the little boy attends Walker Jones School here in Northwest DC and tonight here at this school parents are outraged. There is outrage all across the district. Keep in mind it's cold out. This is a four year old child. He was left on that bus all day long. The four year old boy spent more than six hours on the bus. The bulk of the time strapped to his booster seat in this cold Southwest DC lot. He's really a nice kid. Pilar Edwards says she rides the same bus and knows the little boy. She says her mother got a call about what happened. They told me that he was never dropped off. The driver and attendant apparently disconnected an alarm. When they turn the bus off, the buzzer goes off, and they have to walk to the back to turn it off to ensure that there are no students on there. These two individuals disabled the, the buzzer on their bus. The driver and attendant left the bus after their morning run. When they returned about 2 in the afternoon, they found the child. Absolutely no acceptable reason for this to happen, and the people who were responsible for this were fired. The third floor of Walker Jones is an evaluation center for small children with special needs. Calvin Perry has three children here. If that was my child, I, I couldn't tell you all I could be calm like this right now. You know, we could thank God that nothing happened to the little guy. Others are asking why did the teacher not notice a four-year-old student was missing and notify officials. That somebody in the school should have known that he had not shown up or at least called the parent and make sure. Paramedics did check out the little boy and then returned him to his mother. Now, as far as the driver and the attendant, along with losing their jobs, they could face criminal charges. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.